Today is the beginning of week two. Home project week two, we are working on the second bedroom. Like the cracks and crevices in the door jam that the roller cannot get. Okay, so we can get it with the roller next time. Is that, or you're finishing it. Yeah. Okay. We did end up spraying with paint sprayer the closet, which is so wide, I love it. We did all this, so yeah, lots of overspray. I think it worked pretty well. I don't want to get my shoes all painty. Dave, work in that window. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Did you stand back and look at it? Not yet. Did, did you prime or is this paint? I primed. So what's this one coat of paint? This is the second coat of paint over top of the primer. Wow. So primer didn't really help that much. Interesting. I was, I wondered about that. It's just that dark. So even though we tried primer, it's still a coat of primer and two coats of paint. And is it even done? I'm very close, but like you look at it, you can still see yeah, darkness I, coming through. I do see darkness coming through. I still think it's, it's still, it's four coats either way. It's four coats either way. The difference is the first coat doesn't have to be the $60. Right, it's the cheaper primer. Well, that's good to know. It's like, it's good information. The worst, but here's the good news. You ready? Mm -hmm. There's only two more windows. I know. I know. And quite frankly, the windows aren't terrible. The door jams take forever. Yeah, I agreed. The windows aren't bad because they're all like flat trim. Hey, I had someone ask me why there's metal outside the window. Well, you also had some people ask why the sticker's still here. I don't, it's been on so long. Can I even get it off? Uh, yeah, we might need a little bit of a heat gun and a razor blade knife. Okay. There's metal because we're in a basement and that metal keeps the dirt from piling in. So those are egress window wells. Yeah. So that they're designed so that you can climb out. Yeah, if there's a fire, you can get out. Right, like they hold back the dirt, give you space so that you can get out of there. Yeah, exactly. You can see the overspray on the baseboards also. Would you say those are done? Or are you, no, we gotta roll one more time. I got, so listen, I haven't rolled from here to there yet. Okay. So like these are just about done. Okay. But this corner is not yet. I'm now standing in the other back corner as they, whoa, I can see a big change when you roll that, Dave. Okay. And then here's the problem with painting trim is like you gotta do a coat and then you have to wait for it to dry. And then you can come do another coat. So it's like a really long process between all the drying layers time. But here's the back corner of this room. I think this is the smallest room in the entire house. Um, it's probably pretty close. Like I'm standing in this back corner over here and I'm like, wow, this room's pretty small. You're probably right. It's a toss up between this room and Tyler's room. Yeah, good call. Tyler's room's pretty small too. Well, his old, his old room. Yeah, I think it looks pretty dang good. Remember, we gotta do one more coat on the walls. Right, I know, but... But you could start cutting in. But if I cut it in the ceiling, it would make it feel that much faster. Yeah, you can cut it in whatever you want, right? Excellent. I'll do that tomorrow. I just finished touching up the closet. So I had a roller in here. Ignore the water. Andrew's rinsing out brushes outside and the window's open. So I went over like this top section again, even though we sprayed this and touched up any corners that got missed. So I am now waiting for this closet to dry all the way. Haley is ready to do a second coat on the walls. I've sanded down the excess, whatever that's called, spackly, spackle, spackle, spackly, spackle, where we touched up all the holes in the walls. So Haley's doing a second coat on the wall. This is my favorite hand edging in brush super short here. You can use your wrist really well and it's cut really nicely on the top. So it's really easy to edge in the ceiling. So I am edging in the ceiling while Haley does the second coat on the walls. And then probably I'll be cutting in. Dave had prepped all of this tape as well. After today, we should be almost done with this room, with the painting with, with part. With this room. Yeah, with this room. <laughs> I truly think the hardest part about painting trim and ceilings and doors is that we needed about four coats on all the trim and doors and you have to let it dry in between each coat. And then once we're really, really close, I'm pretty good at cutting in the ceiling just by hand and Dave is not. So that's always been kind of my job to come in and cut on the ceiling, but even the cutting in and going around the windows and the doors and the baseboards and then Haley doing the full second coat on the walls. this project took two hours this day and then touching up the closet was another maybe 30 minutes so two and a half hours 
of painting just on this day. And when then we also had to wait for it to dry once again. Lights arrived today and we decided to go with a handyman to come and install these for us because if he cuts any holes in the drywall, he will then patch them and match the current texture, which Dave did not feel comfortable matching the current texture. Dave, what's the problem? Well, the last time we bought these, there was a ground wire connection and now there's not. The box only comes with black and white. Like where, where the heck's the ground wire? Where am I supposed to ground the, the ground wire to? Yeah, that's a good question. This, this right here, by the way, is why home improvement projects are frustrating for homeowners because the way things should be done are rarely the way things are actually done. Got a couple of blogs, forums on the internet said ground wire is not ideal, but it's not necessary. Especially with these drawing as little powers they draw. Okay, because these are LED lights, so they right. really don't pull that much. Right. Okay. So I finished doing my hole. Mm -hmm. I screwed it together and this is how easy these go in. I just have to tuck the wire. Tuck the wire. Boom. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Okay. So you have the electricity off right now. I have it off. Do you want to show them what you use to cut the drywall? Um, my drywall saw, which is right down there. Oh, I didn't realize you actually had a drywall saw. I went and bought one the last time we did this. Okay. It was like eight bucks. <laughs> oh, so worth the investment. Yeah. Okay, moment of truth. Here we go. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh, it's so bright. It's kind of awesome. Wow, now I'm gonna see my bad paint job. <laughs> Do you see? I see reflections from the ladder, but I don't see a bad paint job. No, I, I'm, it's more of a joke than anything. But man, it's bright. It is so bright. It does, like, I love, like, the ceiling feels higher. Yeah, it, yeah. The ceiling does feel higher without the light hanging into the room. I love how easy the Ooh, lights go. Are you gonna do this one too? So you told me not to. I know I told you not to. <laughs> so, that one too? It's, I could, I could totally do it and it would only take me a minute, but it's not centered in the I know, room. you want to wait to see what the guy says. The room is broken up in such a way that like having a light right here is good. And I don't think it feels like there's shadows in here. Right no, here. I for sure don't because that section of the room is so small because yeah. it's just that little like hallway thing. I don't think I showed you. We put the rods back in this closet. We just hung a couple of things because Dave's going to... Uh, shampoo the carpets and just quick check on the other room We hung the rods back up here and the boys hung just a couple of their items But we are still working out like storage systems for up here and here and then for shoes It's not finished yet in Tyler and Andrew's room, but the closet is officially Done being painted at the moment their new mattresses should be here tomorrow my stepmom gave us this Hoover carpet cleaner and it's really quite easy to use. So if you guys are interested in one similar, I'll try and find one that's like it. I think it's around a hundred dollars, but I really, really enjoy being able to clean our carpets so well ourselves. Ryan's room, pre-furniture, white door, white closet. Don't have the door, the closet doors on yet. Those are still being worked on. We just pulled the tape around all the trim. The walls are done. The ceiling is done. Let me spin. Here is the room before we put furniture in here. We're about to go upstairs and go get Ryan's furniture and start putting things in here. So he's gonna sleep in here tonight. Kind of at the end of this video, I'll show you Ryan's room and then talk about the next changes. Look at that wall color though. Oh, guys, look at that wall color with the white trim. Oh my gosh. Have you seen anything more beautiful? Speedy, have you seen anything more beautiful? I don't think so. I know. I know what you're saying. Do you smell a clean carpet? Is that what you smell? Let's go get the bed. Oh, bless you. Hey, furniture. Furniture is in. It doesn't really match each other, but <laughs> it works for now. Got the two bookshelves. Nothing's on them yet, clearly. Blinds are back up. We have this twin bed. I picked this bed up um, from the Facebook marketplace like a year or two ago and I spray painted it blue. There's that. And his dresser that we already had is over here. I feel like it works really well with the twin bed in this room. Well, this is Ryan's room for now. We are still doing some organizational pieces for this closet right here. I ordered some bins and the doors are still being painted so it's not 100%. Here it is so far, huge progress. A little bit of a sneak peek into episode three, house updates. 
Hey, and welcome to the after chat. I know it's not a uh, vlogist anymore, or at least I don't think it is. I'm not sure when this video is coming up, but I wanted to recap the video that you just saw. I have like hair on my face. Kind of lead into the next update video, which is still gonna be the bedrooms. Ryan slept in his new room last night. It's so exciting to have all the boys down here. The rooms are looking really sharp with the new paint and the white trim. It was good to get all of the furniture back into that room over there so I can start kind of cleaning out what will be my office upstairs. That is a whole, uh, like when we moved that bed out, I'm like, how do you even have this much stuff under a bed? I don't even understand, like it's a disaster. Cleaning up that room, just getting the crap out of there is gonna be a whole nother thing. This room isn't quite done and I kind of said that it, earlier in this video and maybe in the last one because we have some organization pieces coming, we have some furniture coming, and that will be the next video, like the new furniture, the organization for the closets, some things we're getting for the boys to help them be more efficient in their space. So that's gonna be the next video. I do have officially all three boys down here in the basement, Andrew and Tyler here, Ryan over there. Uh, this, this room that I'm in right now is Andrew and Tyler's room. This is pretty much the biggest room in the entire house. It's bigger than the master, it's bigger than all the other bedrooms. So it just made sense to put two boys in this room because of the way it can be configured. And I don't wanna ruin the surprise of the kind of furniture that we ordered, but it's being delivered tonight, way, way before it was supposed to be delivered. They originally said September like 10th through the 20th was the range. And then we got a shipping notification today. It's out for delivery today, easily two weeks early. Like from the day I ordered to the day it was delivered today was four days. And so I'm, beyond thrilled that it was able to come so fast but i don't want to ruin the surprise so i can't tell you too much more about it it's just looking so modern and i'm loving this paint color this agreeable gray on the walls so much i'm thinking about repainting the office upstairs this color just because i really like it instead of the color it is oh dave's gonna be so mad if i tell him that <laughs> if you guys like the home update stuff so i have <clears throat> the furniture organization video that's gonna come out after this one. We're gonna be moving into painting the bathroom and the main living area in the basement. So we're gonna do the whole basement, like kind of like this with the white trim and these walls. And then we have a huge update upstairs. I'll just leave that as a teaser. Thank you so much for joining me today. Had a great time hanging with you and I'll see you in the next video.